Peggy 16. Hi, my name is Brent Nicholas. I'm executive producer on Amazing Spider-Man the Video Game. Today I've got a chance to actually show you one of the coolest things I think is we finally brought Spider-Man back to Manhattan. It's your playground like you've never seen it before. Navigation for the game has been totally revamped from the ground up. We've actually taken the camera and pulled it much closer to Spider-Man. As I'm swinging through the city, it actually gives you a much stronger sense of velocity and speed, but more than anything else, you get a sense of vertigo as you're leaping from the top of a skyscraper all the way down to the levels close to the street. One of the things that I actually get to use throughout the game, I've got this cool new Oscorp branded cell phone that I can use to give access to my missions, to show me what's going on in the city. The Oscorp phone actually gives me the ability to tap into police frequencies and get word of all the crimes that are happening throughout Manhattan. We've actually got petty crimes that are happening throughout the city at all times, whether it's car chases, bank heists, it's constantly happening throughout the city and it changes over the course of the game. One of the things I'm going to show you real quick is I'm going to jump in and help a civilian who's actually getting uh, accosted by some thugs. So watch for a sec while I actually take these guys out. Combat's been totally reworked. It's much more agile and speedy. It's much more acrobatic. But one of the things that I like the most is as I beat these guys, I get experience and points that I can use to unlock new powers, new abilities, upgraded combos, upgraded moves. So I highly encourage you guys to try it all out and see how far you can get. So now that I've saved that civilian, I'm going to go ahead and web swing over to another nearby encounter where there's a police car chase that's about to take off in the city. On my way there, I'll show you guys how WebRush actually gives me the option to choose and select my destinations in the environment. One of the things you can see here is that this is WebRush when I'm using it for navigation purposes. And I actually get the option to look around the environment around me and pick what destinations I want. I can either pick one of the ones that's been highlighted by the game as a cool destination for Spidey, or I can actually define it myself and launch directly towards the center of my screen. One of the coolest things about it is it lets you interact with the environment like never before. You can run off walls, you can run up walls, you can bounce off of flagpoles and spin around them. You can go down a street, run along the length of a bus, leap up and catch a light pole and fly away from there. Over. Huh. Consider it done. So now as I'm overhead looking down at the area below, you'll see that in my WebRush choices, there's actually a green vehicle down there. If I choose that, then that means I'm going to kick off a police car chase in the nearby area. So now as the car chase gets underway, and I kind of get an idea for the environment that's taking place in, watch now as I use a combination of web swing and web brush and web shot to take these thieves out of action. Since I've beaten that guy, I wanted to say thanks for watching. We're super excited about the game and can't wait to hear your feedback once you get your hands on it as well. The game's going to be on shelves June 26th in the US and available globally June 29th. So be sure to go and pre-order your game and get some exclusive content like Play as Stan Lee or even Play as Rhino and get to smash around Manhattan yourself. 